everyone and welcome to another episode of Hot Wheels Dreams. I'm your host Mike Zarnock and today we're going to talk about the infamous 271 blue card. Yep, there it is in my hand, the real deal. Now this was sent to me by someone who purchased a collection out of Pennsylvania and um, I had to make sure that the car and the card were real. Yes, a lot of people do send me things to authenticate. If you need something authenticated, uh, drop me a line from my website, MikeZarnock.com, and we'll talk about it, and I'll tell you how we can go about doing that. What I had to do was to make sure that the back of the card was the correct color and the correct lettering. Also, the front of the card was the correct color because there were some pieces out there that were actually faked. About 10 years ago, there was a guy on eBay, and he was making fake cards. He was doing the 271. He was doing the Woody that was on the number 51 card. He was doing the number 50 that was uh, uh, the Rolls Royce. So uh, a lot of those pieces were put out there. They're not real. You have to be careful when you are purchasing these things either on uh, eBay or uh, through a private collection. Some of these pieces were very good. Some of the pieces weren't really good and you could tell right off the bat some of the colors were different. Uh, the blisters were falling off and of course the back of the package was not the correct color. Um, this one here has the brown back like it should be. Uh, I'm really not going to say too much about what makes the real ones and the fake ones too much different because if I do somebody is going to learn how to do it and we don't want that to happen. So um, what we have here is definitely the real deal. The car is the right color. That's another thing too that you could tell. And um, like I said, everything else is correct on this car. So without um, saying really too much, this car, you're going to find it probably on the uh, TTP auction site, not on eBay. Um, and it is the real deal. I will be sending the owner a certificate of authenticity. And um, good luck with whoever buys it. Stick around. I'm going to be right back and uh, we've got some more things that, uh, that I want to talk about. Now a lot of people have asked what makes this car so valuable. It's not really the car that has the value. It's the number 271 package. Now there's been a lot of rumors over the years about why this car is so valuable. Some people say there were only 12 of these packaged. Some of them say that the 12 were done at the uh, toy fair. Uh, was made specially just for the toy fair. And then this car came out in the race team series. Which is right down here on my wall actually. See? The same car different card. I've said this many, many times. People will ask me, they'll write me, wherever I am, they'll say, you know, I think I have that car. It's not the car. The 271 car is the same as the 277 car. It came in play sets. The car is not the value. It is this 271 package. Like I said, some people say there were only 12 made. Um, from what I understand, from what some of the people that have been around for a long time have told me there were 144 of these cards made. Um, they came to Mattel, some, probably 80 from what I've been told, were stripped and were prototypes for the Pro Circuit series. The cars were taken out of the package, the cars were stripped, redone for the Pro Circuit series. Um, there were probably 44 of them left. Some of them went to um, KB toy stores that were found in Ohio. I, there was a guy that apparently found five of them. Um, also, some of these you can tell um, there is a black line through the UPC. Um, the five that were found in Ohio were traded off. There were two um, that were from a uh, convention were purchased for a whole whopping $25 uh, at, at the auction at one of the, at the conventions. Um, the rest of them, no one knows where they are. They're, I was told that some of them um, went into um, hands of collectors and some of the employees. 
Um, there might be as many as uh, 288 of these produced. Um, that I can't prove. I'm still working on, on finding out how many were done. As of right now, there is a list that a few of my friends um, have put together, and they were gracious enough to give me a copy of. There are between 10 and 20 of these known in the hands of collectors today. I have that list and it names all of the people that are known to have this car in the original package just the way we see it. One of those 144 or 288. If you do have one of these, uh, please give me, you know, drop me an email and, and, and let me know because um, it's great to have a registry of these cars. We don't want any of the ones that were faked to come out um, because it's just going to mess things up. So if you do um, have one of these in your collection, give me a, you know, drop me, drop me an email at mikezarnock at aol.com. All right. Um, so like I said, it's not the car that makes this worth so much money. This car is the last couple of times it's gone up for auction has gone between three thousand and thirty-five hundred dollars. Um, but it's this package to collector number guys like myself here. You know, it's something that we really have to have for our collection. Me, I don't have one yet. Um, maybe someday when I get rich enough, um, I'll be able to afford one. And it's, it's not that often that any of them come up for sale or for auction. So if you're interested in this piece, like I said, it's on uh, TTP. And uh, check it out. Uh, if you want to bid on it, like I said, I'm, I'm sending him a letter of authenticity. As far as I'm concerned, this is the real deal. So um, check it out. Good luck if you're going to bid on it. And um, let me know how you make out. And if you do have one, please, please let me know. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time on Hot Wheels Dreams. I'm your host, Mike Zarnock. See you later.